Now we are going to talk about the plots, how plots are generated in, in R. So there are multiple types of plots and plots are associated with different features like x-axis, y-axis, the name of the plot, colors, then edit with the, with the dot, the connecting lines. So that's all we are going to, to discuss here. So the first is the line plot. We are going to talk about the line plots. So essentially for line plots, we, we need some value. So here we are creating a, a vector called cars. And for that, the there are some user specified value. That is 1, 3, 6, 4, 9. So these are the value when specified. Like there is a object called car and that is created. Now we are going to plot, we are essentially talking about a line plot. So we are going to, to, to draw a line plot. So for that the function is plot. By help of plot we can we can plot a line plot specifying the object. So here my object is car and using the function plot. The moment I run it a plot is created here. So this is how the default behavior of the plot is. Wherein my y-axis is the values which I specified like 1, 3, 6, 4, 9. 1, 3, 6, 4, 9. So this is coming like this. So that is the default uh, plot wherein we are specifying only, only the dimension, one dimension. So in that case, y-axis is my default dimension. And x axis is taken as a as an index. So those indexes are are not um, very relevant. Region being it talks about the element. This is the this is first value. This is second value. This is third value. This is fourth value. This is fifth value. So it only talks about about the sequence of the value, the way it comes to the data. Now. I'm going to, to plot the same thing here, but I am adding some more and more option. So what exactly I'm doing? I'm using the plot function, specifying the object, and I'm saying type is equal to O. O is what? It's the overplotted. That is, I am connecting these dots together. So this is called the smooth lines. I'm, I'm creating something called smooth, that it's not smooth, but this is the connecting lines. So type, so there are multiple options we have. So if I replace like here, in this case, this is line, connected line which comes in. So for connecting the lines, we use this type option. The moment I replace this type with P, so I will get only the points. There is no lines. Fine, so we have multiple options. If I replace it with L, I will get only the lines that is there is no no points there is no dot so we show all three options so O is what O is basically a combination of line as well as point but if we are specific about only the points or only the lines so we can specify the moment I replace it with S that is a histogram kind of structure so I will get something which is, which comes as a histogram. That is bar, that is length of, of each and every, every value is it's given here. So we have multiple options in that. Now we are going to create uh, a something uh, to add some title with the plot some colors, some font. So I'm, I'm saying that plot to that, the plot which we have created on top of that, I'm saying main is equal to autos. So main is equal to what is the name of the plot. So auto will come here as a name, that as, a, as an index, as a header. 
it, it says that the name of this plot is ortho. I am saying color of main is what it's red. So the the font of of this auto will come in red color. Now I am saying font dot main. So here I am specifying the size that how big it, it should look like. Like here. So main is what? It's the it's a it's the name of this plot, or you can say the the lesion which we associated with the plot. The the color dot main that is col dot main is what it, it talks about the red if i replace it with blue so we'll get in the blue color so that the blue color has come now the font dot main is what basically it, it is talking about the font size so there are pre predefined uh, font size in r it's not essentially like excel wherein the font uh, the numbers are are directly correlated with the with the size of the fonts here it is true in some cases but it is not true in each and every case so for for more information about about font you can you can go to the help help directory and we get information about about the font being used in r so essentially i am using font is equal to 4 so there are there are different font size if I write three, it will come in some 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 other format. So that essentially we need to understand that what font being used in in different cases. So now this is something else. So now here the important thing to understand is now let me let me remove this this plot. Now this plot is removed. If I run this title, this title will not run standalone. So what is important to understand here that these these titles are are on the top of the plot which we we created. So for that we need to first create a plot. So now my plot is in place. Now what I am doing, I am going to add this titles everything on top of this plot so as an essential requirement we must have plot so first step is to create plot then to add title now if I write if I run the title function so now now title is is on the top of my plot whatever I, I created now the earlier example was with, with one vector. Only information about car was given or auto was given. Now, we are going to talk about two, two different vectors. That is, now we have two different vectors. One is cars and second is drugs. So now, essentially, what are we going to do? We are going to plot cars. I am saying type is equal to O, that is uh, uh, overlay kind of plot. I am saying color is equal to blue. And now I am limiting my y axis. I am saying that what should be the length of my y axis. I know that my my maximum value is 9th. So so why do I I keep it default to to be decided by R that what is length of my y axis. Why not as a user I specify that the, the, the length of the y axis should be 0 to 12, not more than 12. So that's what essentially I am saying. I am saying that this, this start from 0 and goes till 12. You can change as per your convenient. Suppose I am doing it 20. So it will go to 20. But in that case, the moment we increase the, the dimension of my y-axis, my my graph it 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 tends to 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 go down. Reason being my highest is is 
is nine in my data, but but the scale essentially it is talking about the scale, but the scale which I am taking that is going till twenty. There is a reason that that in case you want to give a a good look to your graph, so this y limit is essential. I would suggest in that case rather use ten. That will give give you a a graph which which is very very close to to the the final value of your of your y axis. Now the same thing we are going to do with with the second vector that is with the truck. So here I am I am plotting again. We are saying that lines, the value is what we are going to do with the trucks. We are going to do. We are saying type is equal to O. And we are the the another option that is called PCH is equal to twenty. PCH it's basically it's a it's a point of of shape. Fine. So these are these are the multiple options available in R, wherein the PCH is essentially talking about. About the shape of the point. Then we have LTY. It is it is talking about the line type. That what type of line is. So there are like there are some some default line types. Two is for the dashed. One is for the solid lines. So there are multiple types of line. So this is for the line type. That what type of line? Because we know in previous case by default my line has come like like this line. But now I want to differentiate it, so I'm 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 going to create a dashed type of line so that I can differentiate. At the at the same time, I'm specifying some other colors so that it both both the the lines do not look similar, like this. So this is the objective. So what exactly I'm doing? I created one plot, and inside that plot, I'm I am inserting a, a line graph on the value of trucks. This is my vector. I am saying type is equal to O. That is, I want I wanted to to have a connecting element. Then PCS. This is talking about the shape. So here exactly we are talking about the about the box. In in previous case, this was circle, but here I am talking about the box. So this is PCS twenty two is essentially for the for the box. If you change it by twenty, I'm not sure what will come. So this is how the shapes are supposed to come. So there are there are different shapes type in R, but the the <coughs> the the popular uh, types are twenty two and all. So that's what we use. So you can specify your shape type. That in which shape region being the objective is to differentiate between both the shapes, and then we are talking about the line type. Is it dotted? Is it solid? The moment I do it one, it will be the solid line. It is the solid line. The way it comes in the previous graph. Now I am talking about the color is equal to red. Region being wanted to differentiate between both the colors. So. <clears throat> this is best part of R in graphics, wherein once we create a plot, on top of that plot, you can add more and more number of plots to have have a combined impact or to have a combined visual appeal from from the of the different elements. Now we are going to add title with that. So we saw about the title. I am saying that main is equal to auto, color of main is equal to red, and font of main is equal to four. So this is how uh, a plot is created with two different vectors. Now we are going to talk about the bar plot. So for the bar plot, essentially we need some 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 vector. So my vector is cars. I am saying bar plot of car. So this is how the bar plot looks like. 
So, <clears throat> as I mentioned in previous case, that we need to be very, very careful that if we specify uh, a vector, which is of, of course, vector is of one dimension, but the moment this is only one element, one now, it's, it's a vector, and you specify either bar plot or line or whatever, the y-axis is taken as the as a default. So that's what it's saying. It is saying that my first element is of of height one, second element is of of height two. Likewise, it is it is coming up. First element is one, second element is three. Next element is 6, and then element is 4, and the last element is, is 9. So accordingly, it takes height of the element and it goes up. So we talk about the line plots. So this is what we created. We, we define a car vector with five values, and then on top of that, we, we plot specified the type which is going to go, that is the connecting lines, connecting points we wanted, color is equal to blue, that's what our objective was. Then we added some, some titles to the plot with the main and color dot main and the font dot main. So these are the options. For the line plot, this is what we saw. We simply uh, we create multiple values together and we are saying that graph card using an y-axis that range from 0 to 12 so that's the reason that we use the y limit that is y limit and essentially the type is equal to o, color is equal to blue these are the 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 previous options were discussed now we added more lines this time i am using a vector truck and type is equal to o then here essentially we are talking about the shape we are we are talking about the type of line that is this is for the dotted line the moment you change two from one this will be a solid line then we are talking about the color of the line and it's red blue whatever you want then we added some some main and title to the plot. Now this is about the bar plot. The way we saw, we create a, a vector for that, and on that we simply added a bar plot option. In bar plot, we are going to talk about more and more about bar plots. So exactly, we are adding some, we are doing some value addition in this plot. So my element is, my vector is A. On that, I am using bar plot. In previous case, we saw the moment we write simply bar plot, it, it, it looks like this. A very, a very simple bar plot comes. Now, here I am saying, my object is, that is, the value on which I am going to create my plot is A. Main is what? It is, it is a least end, or you can say the name of this, this graph will come. Now, I am saying X lab. So, by default, X lab has no value. But now, I am saying X lab is equal to days, and Y lab is equal to total. So, I am saying this will be the total value. So, here, for axis, I am defining the name. Now, here I am assigning name dot arg. So I am saying for this value 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 1, 2, 5, 4, 3. I am assigning value like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now I am saying border is equal to blue. So if the gra graph is plotted, so what is the border of my boxes? And essentially I am talking about the density. Density is what? 
I want to differentiate between different days. So here the density is uniform. I mean the way this plot, this bar, the color in this bar is the same color is used in this bar. But here I am saying it's not so. I want different density inside these boxes so that someone can easily differentiate. Let's see an example. This is what exactly I wanted to explain. That I'm saying that I'm creating a plot, a box plot, a bar plot on on a, on a, a vector A. Main is equal to cars that is coming here. X lab is equal to days that is here. Y lab is equal to total which is given here. And now essentially for each and every element, I am assigning the name. I'm saying this one correspond to Monday. 2 correspond to Tuesday, so that's what it is coming here. Now, I am saying border is equal to blue. That's the reason that blue borders are there. If I say border is equal to red, so we'll get the red borders. So now my borders are red. So this is how this border option is used. Now, I am talking about a density. I am saying that I want to use different graphics that the density of the graph of the, of the line which is coming in box that should be different so that I can differentiate it. So I'm using density 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 so that so that I can differentiate it. You can change density as per your convenient. Now uh, essentially this density is being used to, to focus on certain days. That depends on your priority. Here, I am saying that I am prioritizing my days the way it is it is going forward. So, so that's how the how this number is being used now. And this time, I am saying no. I am prioritizing two days. That is Tuesday and Friday. So I am using hundred for this. And then third priority is. I am going to this third element that is Wednesday and the last priority is, is on Monday and Thursday. So the moment I run like this, we will get likewise density. So here it is apparent that that density of, of Friday and, and Tuesday is the same whereas density of, of Wednesday is next to these two values and density of Monday and, and Thursday is the same. That's how you can change the density to differentiate between the different bars that is to differentiate between different boxes so likewise we create an object in our case we took example of of one case then we say that bar plot a that is the value on which this bar plot is plotted main is equal to cars x lab is equal to day y lab is equal to total name essentially we are writing like this then for the borders we are saying blue red whatever you want and density accordingly you can specify the first example we saw wherein density is, is written in ascending order the same thing is written here but here we are saying color is equal to rainbow the moment we say color is equal to rainbow it it comes as a as a very colorful uh, kind of So it comes as a rainbow colors. So here, the different different lines being used in different colors. So these are these are a default option. <clears throat> in case of in case of rainbow, 
if we see uh, the, the syntax, I am saying that water is equal to blue, density is what, and color is equal to rainbow. And why this five we use, reason being, we are we are saying that there are five elements in in here, so must use five different colors. So we do not have command over here on the color. It it takes the random colors, but it tries to to differentiate between the color of the different boxes. So that is how the default behavior is. So that's <clears throat> it is talking about the rainbow and this is all about the introduction of R. 